The first view of division that we'll talk about is the measurement view of division. And it has this idea, if I have A divided by B, it's thinking about how many measures or counts of B are in A. So let me give some numbers here to help this make more sense. Uh, if I were to take like 12 and divide it by 4, this is asking how many measures of 4 or how many 4s are in 12. To answer that question, how many 4s are in 12, we could, um, we could get 12 objects. Let me see if I can make 12 circles here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And so if I'm looking to find how many groups of four are in 12, I can put some things together in groups of four. There's one group of four. Uh, here's a second group of four. And over here is a third group of four. And so if I go to count my groups of four, there's one, two, three groups of four. And so my answer is three. That's how many fours are in 12. It's called measurement because we're measuring out groups of a certain size, like groups of four. It's also got a different name called repeated subtraction. And the reason why, we could think about taking 12 and then subtracting four from it and getting eight, and then subtracting four from it again and getting four, and then finally subtracting four once more and getting zero, and so we end up subtracting four out three times. And so that's another reason why it has a name of repeated subtraction. It also has another name that I will not ever use uh, called the quotative view of division. Um, and I'm just telling you that because to say, all of these things mean the same thing. I am probably going to either call it measurement division or the measurement view of division, and sometimes our book, and I will call it the repeated subtraction view of division. So with this view, we can do some other things. Uh, we can not only talk about whole numbers, but we can talk about um, some different types of numbers. And so I could ask a question uh, involving fractions, like three-fourths divided by one-half. And in the measurement view of division, this is asking how many something are in something. So three-fourths divided by one-half is asking how many one-halves are in three-fourths. And if we wanted to, we could think about three-fourths of a circle and see that there's one one-half there. So if there was three-fourths of a pizza, let's say, left, and a serving size was one-half of a pizza, there's one serving, then there's some other stuff that's left over. Another question that we might ask, uh, another division question, is something like six-tenths divided by five-hundredths. This is asking how many somethings are in something. So with six-tenths divided by five-hundredths, that's, that's asking how many five-hundredths are in six-tenths. Uh, this might be the case where if you had 60 cents and you wanted to find out how many nickels, how many five-cent pieces were there, um, we, could, we could do that. We could do that by subtracting uh, out five-hundredths and I think you get a total of 12 nickels to get 60 cents. So those are some ways that we can look at measurement division with repeated subtraction.